Okay, now I'm going to show you what a parasitic oscillation actually looks like on a circuit like the Ainsley circuit. Do you see this broadening of the trace up there? Okay, that's a parasitic oscillation running on top of the actual Ainsley uh, oscillation. We're running on the function generator at a short duty cycle, and what I've done here is I've taken a small air variable tuning capacitor, and I've put that, uh, it's connected uh, from the MOSFET gate at the attenuating resistor uh, to the MOSFET drain connection at the load. Okay and uh, so I've got that sitting on there and I've got the circuit energized in the normal manner and what I've done is if the if the gate drive is up high this is a 200k pot here so if I turn it down to where the resistance is zero uh, I get this nice standard spike here let me put the B trace on okay so the load is off, drawing current now and off, and now the, the gate, or this is the Ainsley point A, the load of course is high and spikes there and then uh, low during the time that it's on and then this is the other spike there. Okay, so now if I actually do uh, have this capacitor in there which simulates uh, stray, circuit stray circuit capacitance from a sloppy build, um, and if I turn the gate drive way down, you can start, I'll just turn the, uh, a, the uh, B trace off. You can start seeing that broadening of the trace there on the top. Now that's actually true parasitic oscillation. Here I'm picking up the uh, capacitor with its leads, and you can see how that, the peaks change and it goes up and down there. This is all I'm doing to do that. Okay. And I'm going, to, I'm going to change the setting on the capacitor now. And you can see that depending on the capacitance, that parasitic oscillation goes away there. That's all, that's all the way to one side on that little air variable. Now we'll bring it back. And you can see that the spikiness changes. It becomes very complex. But uh, on top of that spikiness, you get that broadening of the trace there, okay? That's parasitic oscillation. And if I turn the the uh, gate resistor down even more to where I have more and more resistance in there, I start getting that kind of a waveform which really emphasizes that parasitic oscillation. Okay, now, what is the frequency of that? Can I resolve it on this oscilloscope? Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. There's... Okay. I got the intensity all the way up. And I'm just starting to see there. So I have... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven complete cycles in five major divisions at two tenths of a microsecond per division. Okay, so I'll figure that out in a minute unless somebody else wants to figure that out. So that's the frequency of that high frequency parasitic oscillation. And it's, uh, this, my scope is triggering on it fine. I, I can see it perfectly well there. It's dim, but uh, it's, it, it is triggering on it. Okay, so um, that's what an actual parasitic oscillation looks like, and uh, that is deliberately induced, and I can reproduce it anytime you want, and you can see that it is in fact a regular oscillation, and if the scope's trigger is uh, properly set, uh, it can be resolved with no problem, and that it is produced by a small amount of additional capacitance uh, in a MOSFET circuit. Alright, thanks for watching.